Do we embrace the radical mercy that Jesus offers, extending forgiveness even to those who may seem undeserving? Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we encounter one of the most touching and powerful stories of forgiveness and compassion in the gospel today. The scene unfolds with a woman caught in the act of adultery, brought before Jesus by the scribes and Pharisees, seeking to trap him between the law of Moses and his teachings of mercy. Jesus, in his infinite wisdom, responds not with condemnation, but with a challenge that transcends legalism and exposes the hypocrisy of the accusers. Let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her. With these words, Jesus shifts the focus from the judgment to self-reflection, inviting each person to confront their own shortcomings before casting a stone at another. As the crowd disperses, leaving only Jesus and the woman, we witness a profound moment of grace. Jesus, the only one truly without sin, does not condemn her, but offers her forgiveness and a chance to start anew. Neither do I condemn you. Go and from now on, sin no more. In this simple yet profound act, Jesus demonstrates the boundless mercy and love of God. This passage challenges us to reflect on our own attitudes towards sin and forgiveness. Are we quick to judge others, casting stones of condemnation without recognizing our own faults? Do we embrace the radical mercy that Jesus offers, extending forgiveness even to those who may seem undeserving? In a world often marked by division and animosity, the story of the woman caught in adultery reminds us of the transformative power of forgiveness and compassion. It calls us to emulate Jesus in extending grace to those who have fallen short recognizing that we too stand in need of mercy. Ultimately, the message is one of hope and redemption. No matter how far we may have strayed or how deeply we may have fallen into sin, Jesus offers us the opportunity for forgiveness and new life. May we, like the woman in the story, encounter the mercy of Jesus and respond with gratitude and a commitment to sin no more. May God bless all of us. Amen.